Hey guys, Daniel Mann here. Today I'm gonna to give you a few tips on how you can spear a mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi are also known as dorado and dolphin fish. I generally call them dolphin fish. That's just what I was brought up on in Australia. Not talking about flipper, the mammal, the dolphin. We're talking about dolphin fish. These things are found throughout tropical and subtropical waters all around the world, and even in the Mediterranean Sea. They are one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean, which makes them a fantastic target for recreational fishes. They can grow over 10 kilos in under 12 months. They reproduce from an age of about three or four months old. So they're highly sustainable and they're delicious. The first step to spearing one of these fish is actually finding them. So where do they live? They live in offshore areas. Water tends to be deeper than 60 meters, but the great news is they're not on the bottom. They tend to be within the first three meters of the water column and they can be quite easy to spear. You can find dolphin fish free swimming, but 99% of the time you're gonna find them sitting under a bit of floating debris. So a log, a pallet, a float, an old fishing net, whatever it may be, that's generally where you're gonna find these fish. So on the east coast of Australia, the New South Wales fisheries will actually put out these massive yellow floats called FADs. They're, I think they're fish aggregation devices or fish attracting devices. One of those I always get confused which one it is, but basically it's a massive buoy. They sit in the water, anchored in about 60 to 100 meters of water, far offshore, and they just hold dolphin fish. You can find the GPS coordinates for this on the fisheries website. They put them up every year because sometimes they change or sometimes they get dislodged and they come missing, but you can generally find them pretty easily. If you don't have fads where you are, the other thing to look for are wave rider boys and you can find those GPS coordinates on a lot of weather sites. So if you're really hunting down one of those in your local area, that's a good spot to start. As with every fish, there's always exceptions to the rule and I've actually shot these things in about 11 meters of water off Brisbane. Bright conditions, super hot water and just a school came through and I got really lucky. So you're heading offshore, you're in your boat, you're keen as mustard to try and shoot one of these things, you approach the fad, chances are you're not gonna be alone. Fads are super popular with guys fishing on rod and reel, so don't just drive up to them and jump in and cut them off because you'll probably end up with a lure or a sinker in the back of your head and a few not so kind words yelled at your boat. The best thing to do if there's other users around is wait for them to finish their drift because there's quite often current around these things because they're so far offshore and just ask them, hey mate, do you mind if we just jump in for a drift after you finished yours? And you know, if they get a bit shirty about it, just wait your turn, they'll disappear sooner or later. So we get to the fad and there's nobody else around. We've jumped in the water and we're ready to shoot some dolphin fish. One thing you should probably consider before you jump in the water is that these fish are generally in the first three, four, five meters of the water column, you'll never have to dive any deeper than that to shoot one of these things. So consequently, you might be very, very floaty on the surface. So it pays to add an extra weight or a weight vest to you when you're drifting for these things. It makes it so much easier to put a shot in one when you've got a little bit of extra weight on. One of the biggest dangers about diving these things is if you have a rig line, so you have a float with a piece of rope attached to your spear gun and then you drift towards this float, you're on one side of the float, your boy's here and the fad's here and you go past this, it can be screaming current out there and that's a really dangerous situation to get yourself into. 
two ways to overcome this. For me personally, if there's not many boats around, I will use a real gun because I feel very comfortable using this. The other option is to use a short rig line, say 10 meters long with a small float. With a 10 meter rig line, it keeps the float really nice and close to you because realistically, you're not gonna be diving more than four or five meters for these fish. But if a black marlin shows up, it might be a bit of a, do I shoot this or do I not shoot this? Or a massive wahoo, because I've seen wahoo at fads as well. On the note of real guns, I would discourage anyone from using one if you aren't prepared to let go of that gun and buy yourself another one. If you can't afford to buy that gun again tomorrow, don't use a reel on it because they can be really easy to lose. So we've got to the fad and we're the only boat out there. We've got our short rig line with a little float and maybe a 120 spear gun. The first thing you will see when you jump in is probably really, really small dolphin fish, maybe two to three kilos. So at the present time, the minimum size for a dolphin fish in New South Wales is 60 centimetres with only one fish over 110 centimetres long. In Queensland, the minimum size is 50 centimetres. So that's a pretty small fish. One and a half kilos may get you over the line for that. If it's your first time out at a fad and you've never seen a dolphin fish before, sure, go ahead, shoot one of those small ones. It's a great feeling shooting your first of any species and these things are delicious. Just make sure you put them on ice straight away. However, if you jump in and shoot the first dolphin fish you see, which is a nice two kilo fish, you're stoked you're over the moon. Chances are you're not going to be able to get close to those fish at the back of the school, the, the 10 kilo, 20 kilo dolphin fish. There are a few techniques you can use to get the bigger fish from the back of the school closer to you. Number one is just drift for a few times without shooting anything. Do a few drifts, get the fish used to your presence and you'll find that they'll come a lot closer to you if you don't start shooting the first one that you see. Next option is burly and flashes. You can use old fish frames or a flasher. That will generally get the fish a lot closer to you as well. And the third option that works is to shoot one of the smaller fish and have a mate ready because often the big fish will come vroom, straight in and check out the smaller fish that's just been shot. Now you've got close enough to one of the big fish in the school and you're ready to line up. Where do you shoot it? For me, I will always go for a headshot if I can. It's really dense up the top of the dolphin fish, particularly the bulls, which are the males. They have a big steep head like this when they get bigger. The females or cows have a bit more of a curved head that you can see here. It's a really solid holding shot if you can get it there. However, they do have quite tough skin. So if you can put a spear out the other side of a dolphin fish, very unlikely to lose it. As I mentioned before, they tend to fight straight across the surface and they will very rarely dive. In fact, the opposite like this one jumping clean out of the water. Dolphin fish have a massive tail, so they can fight for quite some time, but they generally will tire out pretty easily. When you're pulling it close to the surface and you want to subdue the fish, the best way is to reach down and grab the wrist of the tail. That's basically their motor. If you stop that part, the fish can't go anywhere. To preserve the fantastic eating qualities of these fish, you must put them on ice straight away, like all fish really. As with all fish, you tend to find some that aren't so intelligent, and dolphin fish, that happens quite a bit. This day they were really easy to get close to, so I got my 80 centimeter roller gun out and decided to have a go.
So that's all from me on this video, guys. I hope it encourages some of you newer divers out there to get offshore, target some pelagic fish. Dolphin fish are a fantastic option for you to hunt. They get big, they taste great, and they can be quite easy to shoot under the right conditions. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.